Good morning. We're coming to you live from Mission Control Houston, but this is a live look on the other side of the world at the HTV Flight Control Room located over in Scuba, Japan, where a team of flight controllers from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency are overseeing the systems on board the Japanese HTV cargo vehicle, which as of this very moment is sitting perched on the end of the space station's robotic arm, about to be released to begin its flight away from the International Space Station and bring a conclusion to this mission. I'm NASA's Dan Hewitt and I'll be taking you through the events this morning. As I said, the HTV craft currently held in the grasp of the station's Canada Arm 2 robotic arm. The view's a little dark right here, but this is a view, a live view from the International Space Station of that robotic arm, uh, which is grappled to the HTV cargo craft. Uh, the International Space Station currently flying just over the eastern coast of China. It's in an orbital nighttime, so it's on the side of the planet that's at night right now, but we'll see the sunrise just shortly before the release is scheduled to happen. Get some light on the vehicle before it flies away. That release is targeted to come at 10.50 a.m. Central Time, 11.50 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. And two crew members on board the International Space Station are standing by in the space station's cupola module at the robotics workstation. They're going to be there all morning until they actually release this vehicle. Uh, it's going to be European astronaut and current space station commander Alex Gerst at the control, pressing the button to send uh, HTV on its way. And he's going to be backed up by NASA astronaut Serena Anon Chancellor. And we'll be hearing her voice talking back and forth with the team down here on the ground as they're going through all of the operations today. And this is a first time technology demonstration uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to try and return samples from the International Space Station back down to the ground. Um, in this graphic, you can see where the small capsule, it's known as the HSRC, um, is going to be located on the HTV cargo craft. It's already been installed, assembled and installed by the crew on board. Uh, it's a fairly small capsule, diameter 2.7 feet, height 2.1 feet, weighing in at just under 400 pounds. Uh, but inside uh, are experiment samples. Uh, so samples from an experiment that was conducted on board the International Space Station. Uh, the ones for this uh, test mission are actually from a protein crystal growth experiment uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Uh Aside from that, uh, the HTV spacecraft is packed full of about two tons of trash and other uh, items that were marked for disposal um, that will again be incinerated once it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere and burns up during that re-entry. And aside from all of those all of that cargo inside the vehicle had also delivered batteries, new batteries on an exposed pallet. Um, this is the second time now uh, that an HTV spacecraft delivered these batteries, and this is uh, a sped up uh, view of those batteries being extracted um, back on September 28th, so actually right after uh, the vehicle arrived. Um, in there, the batteries themselves are those squared parts you can see on the right side. It's on something called an exposed pallet. And those are lithium ion batteries that are bound to be installed on the external part of the International Space Station. Uh, the space station, as you know, generates all of its electricity from the massive solar panels um, that uh, you can see one swinging just out of view in the bottom left of your screen there. Um, those solar panels, anytime the stations on the side of the planet where the sun is shining are generating that electricity. Uh, that electricity also gets sent directly to station systems, but all of the excess uh, gets stored in batteries like these. And again, just standing by the release window now, open for HTV. Should start to see it release, getting the call that the snares are now open. And after the, co the command is given, it does take about a minute or so for all of the components to drive and uh, the ARM-2 actually release the spacecraft. And release. 
The HTV spacecraft released by the robotic arm, 10.51 a.m. Central Time, 11.51 a.m. Eastern Time. It's the station and now HTV are flying just 254 statute miles over the northern Pacific Ocean. So with HTV released, the crew backing the station's arm away from the vehicle. Once it gets into its final park position, they'll get the go for HTV to begin executing its uh, departure maneuvers. So actually uh, firings of the engine, getting a great view from this camera. This is right on the end of that robotic arm, which just released the spacecraft. The dark sections of the vehicle are solar panels used to power HTV systems while in flight. Houston Station on 2, HTV retreat has been commanded and PET timer started. Copy. So we got a great view here. You can see HTV still kind of hovering close to the station. It's been released, the arm backing away. The flight controllers over in Scuba, Japan. Now going to be in control of uh, the HTV spacecraft. will be arming its thrusters and begin uh, commanding it to fly away from the International Space Station. Station Houston, IDM-1 maneuver complete. Verify per step three in 1.602. Station copy, step three. And so that first burn completed successfully. The first one, uh, a very short one, uh, targeted to last only two seconds. Any moment now we should uh, hear that that uh, maneuver has been executed. It'll be about a 10 second firing of engines on HTV, which would begin sending it away from the International Space Station. Houston Station on two, we can verify step five. Copy, step five. And so getting confirmation now that the second burn has been done successfully. So now the vehicle gonna begin exiting the area around the station. So that's uh, both departure maneuvers done successfully. And HTV now going to begin flying. We'll see. We'll see it move a little bit quicker now, uh, but everything uh, very uh, gradual and deliberate with spacecraft. Uh, but for now, uh, HTV on its way away. Moving out of the keep out sphere of the ISS, the Expedition 57 crew would like to thank the entire JAXA program and engineering teams for the flawless design and execution of the HTV-7 resupply mission. The contribution of such a well-designed cargo vehicle is an important part of the International Space Station Partnership, enabling humanity to successfully operate its currently only one laboratory and outpost in space. HTV-7 supplied the ISS with a new generation of important payloads, such as NASA's Life Science Glove Box LSG, ESA's new life support rack LSR, and the JAXA small return capsule testing out and demonstrating the new technology of returning critical scientific cargo from the ISS directly into the laboratories of Japanese scientists. We congratulate all purchasing engineers for the successful design and assembly of the small return capsule, and we wish all the best for the upcoming most interesting phase of the return capsule mission, the re-entry and descent. Itsi areno imadisho. 
Arigato gozaimasu from the International Space Station Expedition 57 crew and kiwotsukete.